In the last video, we talked about step two of the design thinking process, define. If you haven't watched that, please do so before you continue with the rest of this video. I'm sure it will help. Disclaimer, what are we gonna cover in this video will not make you a design thinking practitioner. That would take a lot more hours of learning and practice session. However, it should be enough for you to try design thinking on your own. All right, let's move on to step three, ideate, where we will come up with solutions. Before we start to ideate, make sure that you have a very clear sets of problem statements from step two. These are your guides. If they're murky, you might end up ideating a bunch of irrelevant solutions. So, nothing to feel ashamed of, just move back to step two to solid things up if you need to. The best way to ideate is to brainstorm with no judgment. Do not judge or shoot down any ideas prematurely. It's important to gather as many ideas as possible early on because ideas do build on ideas. One tip I can give you to have a great session is to create a conducive environment. And most importantly, find ways to make people to talk. Of course, unless you guys know telepathy. Also, take note that you do not have to squeeze the whole thing into one single session. Split it up if you have to. No point of continuing when the creative juice is already empty. Recharge and come back another day fresh. So, ready with your billion dollar idea? If you are, join me in the next video where we're gonna talk about prototyping. See you soon.